So we're gonna do at that point ERGRP authentication, uh, and from the ERGRP point of view, on the iOS side, the steps are gonna be to go really configure the keychain, and within the keychain, which is a chain of keys, in which you can define one or more keys, each key with its own validity interval, and for each key, you're gonna define what is the key string, because the key string and the key number are gonna be used to compute the MD5 hash. Uh, which is going to be attached to the AJP packet. So like in the NTP packet, the key number and the key string alongside with the AJP packet, all of them are going to be entering the MD5 hash engine. It's going to result an MD5 hash and the MD5 hash is going to be attached to the AJP packet to be authenticated by the receiver. So once I have defined the keychain with keys with key numbers and key strings, then you go at the interface level and enable any EIGRP authentication. And the third step is to actually activate the use of keychain likewise at the interface level. On the ASA, the configuration is, is more is simpler. It doesn't use keychains, so you just go and enable authentication of EIGRP at the interface level and then also at the interface level you configure the key number and the key string because the ASA doesn't support uh, keychains. So that's going to be basic steps of ERGRP authentication configuration steps on the iOS and the ASA which we're going to be doing once we're going to be going through the um, ASA basic configuration on the CLI as well.